Awesome. Hello, everyone. Hope everyone's doing well today. Uh, we're just going to wait a little bit for some other folks to uh, hop on today's event. So uh, welcome to our uh, Arts Connect event today, or, or, or um, excuse me, Academic Connect today for arts and entertainment. Uh, I'm going to do a quick little introduction, a little bit, uh, probably in like a minute or two, wait for more people to sign on. I like to say this is a great time to grab popcorn, relax, grab some waters. Um, we're going to hear a lot of info about arts and entertainment, which I think I'm a bit biased for because I graduated film here in 2019. So I do love the arts here, um, but so exciting to see some, some lovely names. We can't see your faces, but we can definitely see your names, but super excited to um, be able to share a little bit more about um, our uh, arts programs here. Seeing a few names, which is totally awesome. Um, as a reminder, uh, we do have a little bit of a Q&A today, so feel free in the chat, send over maybe if you've applied to APU yet, uh, what major you're looking at. Um, this is a great time to be able to ask questions. Um, again, we have super small class sizes all around, great student faculty ratio. So this is the perfect time to be able to engage with one of our uh, arts recruiters and as well as admissions. Again, I'm seeing a few names trickle in, so I'm just going to wait another minute or so. But again, uh, send some info in the chat. The first half is going to hearing, be hearing a little bit more about our arts programs. And then the second half is a little Q&A function. So again, any questions you have, put, uh, put them in the Q&A box. If you are looking at a major, maybe you're not sure between two majors, really thinking about, should I do film? Should I do theater? What's the difference between the BA in theater and the BFA for acting? All those questions, send it on in. We have a full hour of chat today. Uh, we're going to be learning a lot of info. So again, thank you so much for for joining. Wait, just one moment. This is the sort of the the part of the event where I like to have maybe some background music. I know it's kind of awkward just hearing me talk over and over again, but you're going to hear a little bit more about us in just a bit. Okay, I think the names have stopped trickling in, so I'm going to go ahead and get started. Uh, my name is Randall Chavez. I am an admissions rep here at APU. Love APU with all my heart. I graduated a film, so again, super biased towards the uh, College of the Arts. Um, but I'm going to pass introduction over to our lovely Chrissy Hawkins. Chrissy, if you wouldn't mind introducing yourself, maybe like your role, yeah. how long you've been with APU, yeah. and anything else you'd like to share. Hi, everybody. Thank you, Randall. Yes, my name is Chrissy Hawkins, and I work with the Dean in the College of the Arts. And I know many of you are here today, you're interested in cinema, animation, uh, theater, or maybe even art. But the College of the Arts is actually eight departments, including music and comm studies, PR, and journalism, as well as all those arts we just named. So we're a big ship of artists, a, a whole community of artists that love to create together. So that's where I come from and I work in student recruitment and marketing communication and I also have the pleasure of hunting down what our alumni are doing these days with their arts degrees and it's really cool stuff so I also Randall am biased because I also graduated from APU and I started as a music major so I started in the College of the Arts and I've been with APU a little too long but I love it there because um I have found my calling and my passion, which is discipling and training and equipping difference makers to change the world for Christ. And so uh, it is my joy and pleasure to do that every day with students like you guys, hopefully future students. So glad to be here with you. Um, however, the reason we're here is to make sure you get all your questions answered. So if you wouldn't mind, if you could please put in the chat your first name and what you're interested in studying so that we can engage the conversation well tonight. Um, totally. So we'd love you to put that in the Q&A, just your first name and what you're interested in studying. And maybe even if you've like started to apply to APU or not. Yeah, totally. And if you're not sure what you want to study, totally okay too. That's what the whole college process is about. If you're on the fence between two arts majors, feel free to put them down because we definitely want to help you decide, okay, should I do music performance or maybe commercial music? Maybe I want to shift gears towards, towards film production. That'll definitely help too. So again, all the questions, hopefully we'll be able to answer them all today. I see a couple in the chat here, which is super awesome. Um, but while you are sending those in, I'm actually going to pack, 
pass the mic off to Chrissy, who will be sharing a little bit more about our department. So again, Reinder, send all your Q's and A's, send all your majors, anything you'd like to expect from uh, today's event, send in the chat, because really this is going to be your event. We wanna be able to answer your questions today and really get you the info uh, that you need today. So, so Chrissy, I will go ahead and pass this off to you. Great, thank you. Um, all right, so a couple things about uh, I see one person who's interested in film. Is there anybody else in the chat who's interested in anything else? Oh, animation. Okay, animation in there. Awesome. So fun. So we've got production, probably animation. Those both live in the cinema department. Oh, yeah, another production. That's awesome. All right. We're starting to come. Game development. Ooh, this is good. Um, so our games and interactive media also sits in our cinema department. So our cinema department has five degrees, which includes animation and visual effects, games and interactive media. Um, let's see the BA in cinema, the BFA in production, which is really your movie making, right? And then we also have a BA in screenwriting, okay? Um, Oh, good. And we have one theater in here. So I'll focus our conversation around cinema and theater. Uh, cinema requires a secondary application called your slide room application. So when you apply to APU, you'll if you if you pick a cinema or theater degree, it'll prompt you to fill out a secondary slide room application. And the reason we require that is because we give competitive talent scholarships for students in those areas who have already been practicing their art before they get to APU. So if you've been already making movies and doing film production, we'd love to see it. Um, for theater, oh yes, animation, Woo. for theater in particular, you also need to fill out a slide room application, but you will be invited to audition for our BFA in acting for the stage and screen. Our BFA is very competitive as well because we are actually the only Christian university that has a BFA for acting in the stage and screen, which is where we train our actors to act both on the stage and in front of the camera. Usually you only get to learn one of those two things. Um, so very competitive program. Uh, I see a couple animation majors, which is awesome because Tony Bancroft is our animation program director and he is a Disney artist. He is a Disney animator. So he created characters you know and love such as Cogsworth, Pumba, Kronk. What's the other one I'm missing? Cogsworth, Pumba, Kronk. Oh, Mushu. And he directed the original Mulan, right? And so he's the guy teaching you how to do hand drawn animation. It's pretty cool. So that's a little bit about our, a um, little bit about some of our programs. Um, I hope you want to come study under all those amazing people. Uh, so, sorry, I'll get back on track. So you fill out your slide room application, right? If you're interested in coming next fall, the due date for those slide room applications is February 15th. Now, the sooner you get it in, the better, because of course the early bird gets the worm. But after February 15th is when we evaluate all the students applying to APU with their talent, either through audition or through your slide room application with your um, portfolio and then we'll inform you if you've received a scholarship or not okay uh, I will let you know because we do have some games and animation and even BFA production those three in particular are unusual also theater so we have them all here animation games production and theater are unique programs where you have to be admitted to APU but you also have to be admitted to the program so you could be admitted to APU, but if your drawings, drawing chops aren't up to par, you could be asked to go study um, drawing as an art major and then reapply to be an animation major, right? So much like nursing, you must get into APU as well as the program, okay? Now, we will let you know as soon as possible when you get that application in if you're admitted to APU and the program as well. But just to let you know that all those programs are capped and not every student gets into those programs. They're pretty competitive. So, uh, so I hope that helps your understanding of the process. Um, if you have any questions, 
about that process, please put them in the Q&A. Thank you for sharing all of your names and all of what you're interested in. Yeah. Uh, uh, I have a yeah, we don't have any questions in chat yet, Randall, so. No worries. I got a, I got a couple a question? questions that I think are pretty pretty important during the, the application process. I know a couple of students on screen here, they could be um, incoming, uh, incoming freshmen. Um, they could be transfer students, maybe you have some credits. Um, are there programs that uh, maybe transfer students can hop into yes. or are they freshmen only? What does that look yes. like? No, that's a great question. The yeah. only two programs that are not transfer friendly are animation and games. They are both four year programs and they are done in a cohort model. So that means you will go through the same classes with the same people all four years. Now, mm -hmm. even though we don't accept transfers for those two programs, the upside is you can still choose to study as long as you're willing to come for four years. So it's not a no, we don't accept transfers. It's that you've got to be willing to transfer and commit to another four years of school, if that makes sense. Um, and, and the other thing about that too is even though they're, they're not open to a traditional transfer student to transfer all your credits, those cohorts create such a family and such a community and they get so tight and this year actually in um in may will be our first graduating class of animation students so our animation program has been in existence for four years in a row and so those seniors man they have been through a lot together and they're i'm really excited to see what they do when they hit the the industry um i have a great question how many students can be admitted into the animation program Typically, our admit rate for the animation program is between 15 and 24 students. So it really depends. Um, we actually had to limit it because of COVID. We're in LA County and we had some regulations about spacing. And so we couldn't admit as many as we wanted to last year. So we're hoping to admit more this year. Um, oh gosh, we have another really great question about double majors. What does a double major look like? And do they have to be related degrees? No, your, your double majors do not have to be related in any way, shape or form other than you're interested in both of them. Um, I will say that a couple of our majors are quite large and take a lot of your out of classroom time. And so it is not wise to try to double major in certain things. For example, music a bm in music a bachelor's in music is a very large degree you have to be in performance ensembles you have to be at concerts right you have to put in so many hours of practice a week outside the classroom and our bfa in acting for the stage and screen is also a large uh, well it's not a large major but it requires a lot of time outside the classroom right you're making movies you're practicing you're, you're doing, um, you're doing shows, right? And so it is difficult sometimes if you've been cast in a show, but you also have three concerts that weekend, right? And so sometimes those, those need to be talked through before you decide to double major. However, the majority of our degrees, this is not an issue at all. So really just with our BFAs, it's a, it's a conversation to have. Um, Randall, did you want to add any? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Anything? Definitely the, the workload of a, anyone in the arts is very, very rigorous, especially like filming on the weekends, mm -hmm. um, the production uh, theater, the, yeah, the theater students having to keep their evenings open for, of course, for all the productions they have to, uh, to practice for, rehearse for, tech week, of course, and show week are all pretty important. So the conversation about double majoring is definitely super important, something you definitely want to, to think about. Um, I have a slight question is similar to uh, double majoring. I know typically there's some students also interested in the honors college. Mm -hmm. um, is it possible for students to engage in the honors college and be in like a normal um, like acting major, theater major, film, or is it not recommended given the discussions about double majoring? Yes. Yes, that's a great question. I don't know if anybody has heard information about our honors college, but it is a premier honors college that is a distinction with our university and honors college uh, students end up double majoring automatically because their honors humanities consider is considered one major and then they get to pick another major. So they all graduate as double majors. Um, there is no conflict between honors college and any of our, our um, arts degrees, 
in fact, we have honors students in every, in every degree in the College of the Arts. So that's a good way to double major. Um, another question, this is really good, is there a collaboration between theater and cinema students? Absolutely. Those cinema students need somebody to act in their productions, right? And we have students who are studying acting. So that works out great. Um, it varies. It depends. Um, not every acting student does something for, for cinema. And of course, if you're in animation, um, one of the big crossovers is act, asking for voice actors, right? So you might not appear on screen, but you might voice a character for the animation department. So that's kind of cool. Awesome. Yeah, thank you so much for all the lovely questions. Feel free to keep sending them on in. We definitely want to be able to help guide you through this process. I know the college application process can be pretty, pretty confusing, especially since there may be a second part of the application for certain arts majors. Mm -hmm. I'm focusing that a little bit. Um, regarding the secondary application and portfolios, is there a certain like student type that you're looking for? Do these students need to be coming in with tons of experience? Like what is the uh, what does the recommend portfolio look like for a student applying to those majors that require that secondary application? Yeah, that's a good question. I'm, I'm going to focus it towards the students we have in the room. Okay, mm -hmm. so the BFA in production, uh, th there's no previous experience required. You can you can submit a portfolio of anything really, and our professors will look that over. And if you've done any sort of production work or you know made movies on your on your phone you know anything you've done they'll they'll accept and look at that and they'll they'll probably want you in the production major however if you have more experience and your portfolio is a little wider your chances of receiving a talent scholarship increase right so we'll accept anyone um We'll accept any like we want people to come study and 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 do that degree but if you have vast experience you're going to be rewarded for it through a talent scholarship uh for for uh, animation and games in particular animation is a pretty competitive degree it does fill up every year right and so that one we are looking for students who have spent time drawing it is helpful if you have mastered the human figure, right? If you've mastered a, a human figure in motion, even better, right? Um, so, so you've, you know, with animation in particular, you have to have, you know, you have to be able to draw a human eye on the spot, right? If you can't do that, then maybe you need to go back and, and work a little more on your drawing. Games, same thing. You need to be able to story tell, you need to be able to have, you know, creative ideas for games in your mind. Uh, you need to have a dream game, right? Uh, so those applications, games and animation, it is helpful if you've thought about this or um, worked on your art projects at all outside of college. Um, for, for all the cinema ones, not so much. Uh, theater in particular, again, the BA in theater arts, which is more you know, I want to work on props, or I want to do costuming, or I want to be a producer, or I want to be a playwright, or I want to own a playhouse someday, right? Anything that's like not acting on the stage, the BA for theater arts, you don't have to have a lick of experience. They will teach it all to you. Um, the BFA for acting stage and screen is a cohort that does fill up every year. And so it is helpful if you have been in productions before, if you have taken theater in high school and you've been trained so that your audition is good and you stand out, right? So again, you can audition and you can be accepted to the program, but if you're the star of the show and your audition is experienced and polished, you're probably going to be offered a pretty competitive talent scholarship, okay? Uh, other than that, you know, we're looking for artists. We're looking for students who want to create something and make the world better through their creativity. So if that's you, sign on up. Oh, awesome. Yeah, thank you so much. I know that as an admissions rep, that's something I get quite a bit of students asking, okay, like, is my portfolio perfect? Or I've submitted 20 films into the festival route. Is that is that enough? Or I've shot movies on my iPhone. Is that enough? So definitely yeah. sharing a little bit more about the process yeah. will definitely help our students a lot. Yes, and we will end this session with a link to find out more information. Mm -hmm. And on that link, 
um, there's an option, you know, select what you're interested in, whatever. There's an option to get feedback on your portfolio. I have questions about what it means to submit my portfolio. Okay. Let us know that and we'll get the right person talking to you ex about exactly what your portfolio needs to have. Okay. So awesome. All right. So I'm going to transition a little bit. I have a fun video to, to share with you guys. So one of our alums, Ricky Staub, uh, he recently released a movie on Netflix starring Idris Elba called uh, Concrete Cowboy. And it was number two on Netflix for two weeks, or sorry, number one for two weeks. I got it. Number one for two weeks in April when it released. And so we had him back on campus to talk about how did he get from majoring in theater to moving into movie production to moving into directing Idris Elba, right? So I'm gonna share his, his little interview with you guys real quick. Bear with me while I switch. I, at the time, not, I did not have an eye uh, for directing. Came here with an interest in theater. I think a lot of the credit or what was prepared for me here was my teachers. I mean, honestly, it was having a small knit group of people that really cared about my future and success. And my memory is mostly how much you guys truly cared and loved me. For me, the acting training that I had became hugely beneficial in a lot of different areas. Uh, when I first started directing, I didn't know any of the technical jargon or lingo or even the difference between a wide lens or a long lens, but I knew how to, I thought I knew how to get performances out of people. I remember leaning on a lot of my like techniques I learned, how to get someone to be present in the moment, how to get people to not be so self-conscious. I always try to keep that in mind to create a set that is where people can be vulnerable or they can make mistakes. It was really the acting piece that was most prevalent for me. I went to the streets and this one morning I packed a backpack full of lunches and I was like, well, if it's true what it says in Matthew 25, that Jesus is actually, you will meet him amongst the poor, then I want to know if he's real. One of the first guys I really connected with, his name was Will, and he, I think the Holy Spirit used that relationship to completely alter me from the inside. He's formerly incarcerated, homeless, you know, just learning from his story how hard it was for him. And I was laying in bed one night, and I had like the complete vision of the neighborhood, which was up until this point in my career, no one had ever, I'd never made a resume. As it works in this industry, producer will say, hey, I need a PA. Oh, this person's great, call him. You just be there, do your job, and you keep getting hired. And so I thought, well, if I was formerly incarcerated, no one would have ever known. And so that was really the seed of like, if I gave these folks the same tools I had, I said, I'm going to make you as good as me, my job, and that could change their entire life. The longer I didn't make the decision to start the company, put this heavy weight in my spirit, like I could not deny it. I think my creative process is just an outflow of the daily sacred rhythms of my faith. The church wasn't built to stand behind morals. It was built to stand behind justice. You being here as Christians, you help be a part of that conversation. So friends, uh, something that the, the video went real quick by is once Ricky started getting jobs and getting, you know, getting up in the industry, he did, he had a, he had a vision from God of how, how do I use this for justice? How do I use this for good? So he started neighborhood production company and he works with um, judges and prisons to get formerly incarcerated people jobs right when they come out of prison, which of course is wonderful uh, and 
completely decreases their chances of going back to prison. And so his purpose is eternal. His reasoning for, for doing all that is um, because he started reading the Bible for himself and saying, if Jesus is serious about this, I got to act on it. So um, he started that production company before uh, Concrete Cow Cowboys came about. Um, but pretty cool. Pretty cool. Yeah. Thank so, you so much for, for sharing about that. That's an awesome testimony. Just it's so great to hear his story and how he was able to come back to AP and just really talk about that. Um, something I want to sort of build off of after watching that video is, uh, of course, we are a faith-based um, institution. I just want to really cover what does that look like, not only just for, for Ricky's story, but what does faith integration look like for a uh, game design student or for an art student or a uh, beef and acting student? Do I have to like, uh, am I simply portraying a faith-based character on on mm -hmm. stage like what is the, what does the education yeah. look like from a faith-based school in this perspective of the arts right yes so great question as you probably already know just a quick review right uh, the requirements on paper for our faith-based institution is taking some bible and theology classes you're going to attend chapel with the rest of our community a couple times a week um, and you're also going to put in service hours, right? So you're going to serve somewhere in the name of Jesus and then track those hours and get your hours in for each uh, year that you're, you're here at APU. Um, however, it goes deeper than that, right? And for us in the College of the Arts, right, um, we deeply believe that we are made in the image of God, that God is our creator and he created everything around us. He created us and he created us to be reflections of him. And so I deeply believe that we are called to create things that reflect back to God. And there is something in our hearts that's eternal about wanting to create. And that's because we wanna, I mean, I think we wanna create because our maker created us, right? And we are his reflection, so our outpour is to continue the creative process. Um, so that's what we do, right? And we also, one of our cornerstones here at APU is community, right? We do not create alone, right? We don't ever create alone. And in fact, um, you know, even if you paint a painting in your studio by yourself with your own paints, with your headphones in, with no one around, right? Unless someone else looks at that painting, does it really do any good, right? So you need a community to enjoy your art right so it requires a community and that's that's really what we provide here at apu another thing i'm super proud of about the college of the arts is that we wrestle with the hard questions how do we head into an industry that we know is not friendly towards the lord towards jesus and towards his message of the upside down kingdom of doing things right so how do we keep our faith and head on into that industry to make an impact and make a difference we have hard conversations in theater about what roles you should take or what roles you shouldn't take or are there roles you shouldn't take should you take them all if you take them all how do you do that right uh, we know that if we put if we put some of the Old Testament on film, it'd be a very rated R movie, right? So, so there's, there's dark stories to be told in order that we re reflect the truth, right? So we have those co hard conversations. We have hard conversations about violence and sex and greed, right? And uh, telling stories is important. How do we do that as, as um, you know, with ethical integrity as believers. And so those are things that you will discuss in your classroom with your professors. And those are the things that will uh, make APU's experience stand out for you. Thank you so much for, for sharing a lot about that, especially someone who's went through the film program recently, that's something super evident in, in all the classes, not something you'd learn in like in one separate class, but that's it's really great how you're able to really integrate your faith. Um, speaking from an admission standpoint, um, the most interesting part about our faith on campus is that you actually don't need to be a Christian to attend APU. Um, it's okay if your background of faith is you grew up in the church. It's okay if you only recently heard about Christ. It's okay if you're sort of new to this whole thing. I'm totally okay wherever you are um, coming from. Definitely, we want to be able to open that, that doorway and help you understand 
what this really means being a creative storyteller that gets their story from the, the ultimate storyteller or maybe just learning okay who is this god person what does this look like um, that's something super important with their faith on campus but definitely being able to experience that as a student hearing ricky stop story with how he's helping or helped incarcerated prisoners and is now working with tons of people nowadays uh, making all sorts of movies that's just so awesome hearing his testimony and that's where the student you want to uh, leave APU. Um, speaking more a little bit more about alumni and just on the path getting there, um, I know earlier you mentioned just the engagement with uh, film, having to just work on tons of stuff out, uh, out of uh, out of classroom hours. Theater students, of course, they have tons of productions. What does uh, experience look like for for current students? Um, is there internships available? What is internships look like for theater students, for example. Yeah, um, I know there are some pretty impressive stats for some of our yeah. um, calls of the art students in recent years. But what does that look like during their college years to prepare them yeah. for after college? Yeah, that's a great question. So something that's unique about both cinema and theater in particular is you have professors who are in the industry currently and they actually come out to teach just because they love to right so they are working in the industry right tony bancroft who is our animation uh, program director right he was the lead animator on space jam a new legacy and he got to draw lebon james as all of the looney tunes characters right so he's working in the industry and coming out to teach for us on the side now what that means is one you're getting cutting edge education on what's happening in the industry now, not what happened 10 years ago, not um, theory based learning, right? Not what your books say, but what's happening now in the industry. The second thing that happens is those people are connected in in all of the arts. Uh, networking is very important. You heard Ricky Staub say you just show up for the job. You do a good job. Someone else recommends you and then you get another job. Right. And that's that that is true in music. It's true in a lot of arts industries. And so what that means is that your professors know people. And when your pe when your professors people are looking for good people, your professors recommend you. Right. Based on how you based on how you perform in the classroom and if you show up on time and if you do, you know, if you do your work. Um, and so that leads to very, very productive internships your junior and senior years okay our bfa in acting in the stage and screen they do an industry showcase at the end of the year where they feature all of their seniors in a showcase they call 30 la agents out uh, casting agents out to apu and they watch the show and they decide whether or not our seniors get callbacks to real gigs that pay real money that are real casting agent you know real casting jobs now, before COVID, pre-COVID, two years ago, 99% um, of our graduating seniors in the BFA in acting got callbacks off of one showing, right? So that's a good connection to have in the arts, right? Um, and so internships, yes, they're meaningful. Um, uh, another one is one of our cinema production students, he knew of a what was it called? It was called like the Oscar gold internship or something. I'd have to look it up, but it was through the Oscars. Okay. This internship program was a competition through the Oscars and the winner of the competition got to follow around John Chu for three months. John Chu was the director of crazy rich Asians and other movies. I'm sure you're aware of our senior BFA production student got to follow John Chu around for three months. How did he know about that competition? One of his professors told him about it because one of his professors knows the person who runs the internship program, right? So they're just so connected. I can't, I can't talk enough about, oh, oh, I was gonna have a student visit a cinema class the other day and he, he's an adjunct who, who was teaching this class. The adjunct had to reschedule because he was called to set that day because he's recording his own movie. You know, he's recording, I'm sorry, he's acting in, he's starring in a movie, right? But he's teaching at APU on the side. Okay, awesome. Um, so anyway, I could go on, but yes, internships, great, check. Yes. <laughs> Great and very important. So that's that's awesome. All the connections we have, mm -hmm. and especially 
being so close to LA. I'm sure we have some local students uh, on uh, on the the live today, but definitely out of state students coming to California, being so close to LA, hearing about these from these professors that are working on these huge scale sets. That is super awesome. So thanks for sharing a little bit about that. Um, yes, I'm we seeing... have a couple other questions. Yeah, I yeah. see this here. Uh, I see one about game design. So is it mostly storytelling, coding? And then let me see here. They're also asking about experience in coding. Does that help with application process? I guess yeah. where is a game design program at? Yes, so that's a great question. So game design is all and yes. Um, so game design does all of it. It does the coding side. It does the visual effects side, right? And it also does the storytelling, the, the like conflict management obstacle and the character development, right? It does it all. And so to, to answer your question, it's both and yes um, on how games work because the games industry is like a $57 billion industry in the US right now, okay? It is booming. There are so many jobs available, right? Um, I mean, it's to the point where advertisers wanna make their ad a game so that people will interact with it, right? So there's tons of jobs available and there's a lot of different things you can do in the gaming industry. So that's where when you come to APU and you study the basics of all of it your first two years, then as you progress, you focus on what you want to, right? So let's say you're really interested in character development and you wanna be a character developer. Well, then your professors are going to lean into that strength of yours. If you're more interested in the coding aspects and the, the you know computer science side of it all, right? They're gonna have you lean into that as aspect. So they're gonna train you in all of it, actually. Um, experience in coding is always beneficial, right? You need to put that on your application and say, here's my experience in coding. However, if you don't have experience in coding, it doesn't it disqualify you from, from, the, um, from the degree. I hope that helps. Yeah, thank you so much. And I see another question here on animation. Mm -hmm. So they want to start an animation business, but don't know where to start. But I feel like there might be other, some other students who are also in the same boat, maybe not necessarily animation business, but they just don't know where to start in terms of their uh, career. I guess, first yeah. off, speaking with animation, what do you recommend for uh, the students? Yeah, great question. So my short, simple answer to that is you go study under someone who has started their own animation production company. We have two of those teaching in the animation program right now. So that's where you start. You start by figuring out who's done it before you and learning from them, right? So um, yeah, that's it's kind of a short answer, but, but that's the reality of it, right? Is that what I was saying about these professors, they have industry experience. You can go to our website, look them up and you can go to IMDB and type them into IMDB and see their credits, right? And see what they actually have done. Um, and so, you know, Tony Bancroft and his, he actually has a twin brother. And so they had a, their own animation production company for a while before he started teaching. Um, so you, you network, you figure out who's done it before you, you network people who already have their own business, right? Uh, a lot of our students want to be entrepreneur, entrepreneurs, right? And one of the best ways that you can get skills on how to make your own business, how to create your own thing, right, is surrounding yourself with other people who have done it. So cool. Yeah. yeah. We, I know we have a couple um, students wanting to pursue minors and double majors, like you mentioned earlier. So that's also another option. I know students, mm -hmm. we have a major in entrepreneurship, business marketing, business management. Uh, definitely, I hope you're catching on to the theme of networking, utilizing your professors, utilizing your resources. APU is just yes. very, very yeah. resourceful in all, in all those areas, which sort of- And, and I will oh, yeah. add to, I will add to that the animation program is a good program to double major in something else with. It's very, very po possible. Awesome. Um, is there an acting minor? There is not currently an acting minor. Uh, that the acting program is pretty intense. So not currently. Yeah, hopefully, hopefully we'll be able to 
putting together maybe not right now but definitely that's at least good advice for students uh what to expect coming into the program yeah. there's the understanding yeah, rigor yeah it's a cohort model so totally so awesome um what you said previously sort of leads to my my next question about uh, i'm assuming these students apu isn't the only college on their list um, mm -hmm. what would you define something unique about our college of the arts i'm assuming we have students maybe looking mm -hmm. at especially if they want to come to california we have usc down the road ucla we have yeah. hundreds of colleges in california alone compared to like three in Alaska, yeah. for example. Yeah, yeah. What really defines our College of the Arts majors apart from other schools also close to LA? Yeah, that is a great question. So um, I really see APU as the best of both worlds. You can go to any bigger school and you can go to animation programs or acting programs, but at those bigger schools, you tend to just be a number, right? And you tend to be lost in the crowd. And uh, there isn't a, there's less opportunity for connection with your professors and the classes are bigger. So although the program might be awesome, um, there's no faith component and your professors may not invest in you the way our professors invest in our students. On the flip side, there are a lot of private Christian liberal arts colleges you can look at. We have plenty of competitors here just in California. However, when you go down the list of those programs they do not offer the same programs we have no other school has a bfa in acting for the stage and screen no other christian college has an animation program on the west coast i believe right but where's the business in la right um i believe we're also the first one with a games program so so again when you're looking at all these options what i would say is apu is the best of both worlds we have these premium programs with professors in the industry, but we also have professors who care about your development as a whole human being. Our professors do not believe you are a walking head and it's all about brain knowledge and all about just downloading information so you can get a degree. They are interested in your heart and they are interested in your hands, right? They are interested in who you are as, as um, the image of God, and they care about what you do with your hands and what you do with your art to, to give back to the world and make the world a better place. And so you're, it's just a really unique combination, right? It's a really unique combination of professors who are going to invest in you and they're, want, they're gonna wanna know where you wanna go and help you get there with a personal relationship. Um, so yeah, that's what I would say is you can have the big, the big school with the great program over here without the connection piece. You can have the little school over here that's faith based, but doesn't have the industry connection piece. And we just really have both of those and, and the industry connection and your professors caring about you. So awesome. And that makes me want to reattend APU and go through the program again. So thanks for, for sharing a lot about that. Um, uh, we're going to start winding down in just a little bit. So again, continue to send in questions. If you do have any questions, Chrissy, I know you have some things you'd like to 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 share in just a bit. So again, students, uh, yeah. feel free to send in any last minute questions you may have about the process. Um, I'll share yeah. our little admissions piece at the end about what next steps may look like. Chrissy, I'll I'll yeah. pass the mic off to you in just a bit to share Great. what next steps look like. I knew we have another question here. It looks we like undergrad admissions one. is looking at one. Re Okay. So yes, we are a Christian liberal, liberal arts, arts university. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> what is the acceptance rate for animation? This is a good question. I would say, ooh, um, I would say 60 to 70% of the students who apply make it into the animation program. Hope that's helpful. Um, and again, if you're if you're concerned about like what needs to be in your portfolio to put your best foot forward, that leads me straight into. Um, uh, I know they're going to put it in the the chat for you, but we have a follow up form that we want to share with you. And um, hold on, I will share my screen to show you what it looks like. So this form will be put in the chat for the link and this is our College of the Arts form. And when you fill this out, you know, fill out the simple stuff, but then towards the end, it's gonna ask you, what are you specifically interested in? 
Okay, you select what you're interested in, and then it's going to give you about six to eight options on what you can do or any questions you have. And so one of the options on there is help me with my portfolio for slide room, right? So if you're worried about, you know, am I going to get into animation? Am I, you know, is, is my experience in games enough, right? You can fill out that form and just ask about your portfolio submission and we'll get you in touch with somebody from that program to work specifically with you because we really do want you to put your best foot forward and we want to evaluate your best art when you submit it to us. Okay. Awesome. Thank you so much. We just sent it in the chat there. Yes. Uh, again, everyone feel free to copy and paste that really quick because I think the chat clears after the event ends. But yes. really just want to emphasize how important that is, mm -hmm. where we will actually, we mean in calls of arts, but they will actually help you and advise you on your portfolio through the application process, which is something I haven't really heard of from, from other, other schools, which is super important. So again, save that chat. And I know you mentioned yeah. other things like visiting a class, chatting with faculty or staff members from Calls of the Arts, taking a tour of the department, all super important items. So again, please, please save that little link in the uh, in the chat there. Yes. And so, come to campus. Come check it out. Come sit in a class. Come meet these professors. Yeah, We'd love to have you. Totally, totally. We do have a couple of events right there. It looks like we're sending in that application link. So if you haven't started your application or you're currently working through there, feel free to visit that link and we can definitely get you through the application process. Again, some majors do have that secondary application on slide room. So there's the APU general admission application, which is pretty quick to apply to. And then we have the slide room application for some, some select uh, programs. Another link right there, you'll see our visit link. Again, we are fully open for campus tours. So feel free to stop on by if you are local or if you're planning on coming down sometime, you can do apu.edu slash visit and you can definitely see what tour times are available. And we also have our next in-person event on December 4th. So if you wanted to do our open house Saturday, take a tour on campus, I know that is one of the few Saturday events, especially for out-of-state students, or if it's a little bit hard managing school, getting time off of work, that Saturday event on December 4th is super awesome, apu.edu slash visit. Uh, um, Randall, and, may I mention one more thing about the application? Yes. And that is if you've, if you've submitted your application, but you're still unsure about your major and you put on your APU application exploring, because you really are exploring what you want to do, it would not have prompted you to go to the slide room application, right? So if you selected exploring, you can either go to the main APU website and search like animation or theater, and it'll prop up you know how to apply for these programs and the slide room applications are on the website and your your admissions counselors also have access to those slide room applications so just know that if you applied maybe two months ago and hit exploring and now you've heard more and you're definitely into theater <laughs> right uh that that slide room application is on our website and all of our admissions counselors have access to them as well Okay, so awesome. Okay. Thank you so much for sharing. And then, yep, I was just about to mention, if you do have any general questions, always feel free to send them to admissions at ap.edu. If you ever forget like an email or contact info, or you do want to get sent over to Call of the Arts, um, you can just always email admissions and we can definitely send you over, get you connected. We can resend you that form in case you lost that link. Feel free to email us and we would love to reconnect with you. Yes. Awesome. Thanks everyone for being here tonight. Thank you, everyone. Hope you have a great nice rest of your night. You. I'll delay another two seconds so you can save all those, those links in the chat there. Um, but again, everyone, thank you so much. And hopefully we'll see you at the next event. Awesome. Bye, everyone. Bye. Good night.